How's it going everyone? It's Liam Carlson here with more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. We're reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of season 7. Looking forward to delving into these two installments uh, as we began the penultimate season last time out, of course. Um, with, you know, some adjustment that still needs to uh, settle in, I guess, with, uh, of course, at the end of uh, season 6, Hulk got demoted. And uh, yeah, there was, of course, a bit of a power struggle, I guess you could call it, with uh, the last episode episode because obviously it's not um common ground is it where Holt is taking orders from jake so yeah and, and some you know i guess habits just can't die hard can they i guess i don't know um but it was a nice nod to jake so yeah um but speaking of nice we had you know probably what will be the nicest i mean Holt is a, a nice captain and all of that but someone who was Offering the keys to heaven, I guess you could call uh, it. Um, yeah, someone uh, just waltzed into the precinct being their new captain. And like I said, keys to heaven. And the suspicions were there for the 9-9. Nine -nine, um, and they blew it. They choked. And yeah, they let their anxieties get the better of them. And well, Captain Kim is no longer uh, the captain of the 99 precinct. So... All because of those insecurities and whatnot. So, yeah. Choked. Fumbled. Eesh. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting into these episodes. So, first off, let's get into episode 3 of season 10 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Let's go. Sleep in the break room. I pranked him. I tied his shoelaces together. You're 38 years old, dude. I know. And yet my pranks still stay so fresh. It's incredible. You gotta untie his shoes before he gets hurt. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Fine, but what's you could the really put it a complex. Oh. How? There we go. So, you still annoyed? Yes. You can't keep saying mischief managed after we finish sex. It's what no. Harry Potter says when he meets oh, the Marauder's Math. Obviously, I know that, but I would prefer no. to keep wizard Just terms no. out of our sex life. But what we're doing is magical. We're making a baby. I'm dying to tell you about Genevieve's new shampoo. It's edible. Oh wow, that sounds so fun. Mm. But I actually can't. Because I have plans with Ted Crap. It's a friend of Amy's. The plan is not available for a very real Teddy reason. is back. Oh my God! Is that? Boyo! It does sound like. <sighs> it's hey! Me. It's He's bothering us up before giving us some devastatingly bad news. My God! <laughs> Jake and Charles are dead. Uh, Jake and oh Charles my! Are not dead. It's worse than that. We have to do our it's worse HR than that? seminar on workplace conflict tomorrow. What? That's worse? I know, I know. These seminars. And you know what a table is. I don't remember coming here. How did I get here? Oh my God. You got. Pimento a... has memento disease. Your memento disease. Like memento, memento. memento. What? You guys never saw Memento? It's the guy with no short term memory, you know? Christopher Nolan's first movie. Is it like Dory? From Finding Dory? Uh, 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 oh, no. So your solution for getting us out of the boring seminar is having us memorize the boring seminar. Exactly. It's genius. And it's fun. I love committing <laughs> things to memory. Yeah, I'm out. I don't do homework. You do now. Get oh, busy. shoot. You flope. Flope. It means loser, What's a okay? It's new. I've never heard of float. Noose. Queen's Pill. Right jacket. Pup. I've never seen this Oh, before no. Life. This was filled three days ago. This doctor must be treating you for your finding Dory disease. That's they what called it the call finding it Dory disease. <laughs> just these women. Exactly. That's what I tell my patients. Just keep doesn't look so bad. The red is the good parts. Oh my god. Oh shit. Well, I guess it does make sense. Pimento lives pretty hard. I, my keys I was gonna say it's on brand. Well, actually, I got a hammer in my car. Come on, everybody <laughs> knows the skull. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I was really worried, you know, because of this gunshot. Check out oh my God, Day. someone's oh. trying to kill you. What? You just told me that wasn't the case. Well, it is now. So there I am, naked, still holding the hedge trimmer. Unless the he fell on something. Guess tattoos to help you remember things, like the guy in Memento. Again, again, no, we need to stop with the Memento comparisons. Here, we'll step out. You get undressed and write down everything you see, and you're fully naked. Hey, oh. Well, I guess we're looking at him. Oh together. my boy! No! My, <laughs> my ex wife. 
Just kidding. She lives in Vermont with our kids. So uh, this is a funny guy. What a stereotype is the Irish are potato eating drunks. Oh, <laughs> fuck! <fine. laughs> hey, you, 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 you uh, are treading on dangerous territory it's there, Hitchcock. Notion. Okay, this one says buy toilet paper in a truly gigantic font. I hate to think of the horrific <laughs> event that led to a reminder of this size. Uh, this says your bank account 2020. number is two, two. Well, Watch, okay? Means it's time for you to take your pills. You keep them in your right coat pocket. Oh. Okay. Even before there's Where's an actual car? bomb. Car. Ah, I'll go get it. You stay here. No, no, no. Your penis is out. I'll go. Okay. Ooh. I was. So Boy, I love and his penis guy, right? is still out. Yeah. Oh, I actually really can't tell you. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're the only person that I can tell. Because no, you can't. Oh, Anything no. I, say, you'll just forget. Huh? I guess that's true. Give it to me. Amy and I are trying to have a baby. What? Jake, that's wonderful. Come on, bring it in. I'd no, not, it still feels really he's gonna spell to, to Charles. Assuming that Denise had a personal vendetta and Denise shouldn't have responded to Ainsley's complaint with an ad hominem attack. My thoughts exactly. I concur. Yep. Wow. Everyone's like, yeah, I agree. I'm really disappointed. What? That I have nothing to correct you on. That uh... was amazing. <laughs> I have never had a group finish this. Always conflict somewhere. Now, it could be something oh, small. Oh no, like this is torture. Peeve. Or Hitchcock slept with my wife Kelly in 1988. <gasps> so Kelly was his wife. Oh his shit, what a cold back! Down. Oh, thanks, Jake. You're gonna make a good dad. I'm so glad you and Amy are taking that step. What? Oh <laughs> boy. What about your memory reset. You and Amy are trying to have a baby? And you told Pimento and not me? They've got a Panera here? Okay. <laughs> Amy, they're just between her and me, and I need you to be okay with that. Ooh, Fine. the fact that he's putting his foot right, down. I get it. I mean, it's not like you told anyone else. Right. I mean. Oops. You told Rosa. Rosa! That dud! Oh, why her? Dud! Sometimes me. Kelly was a real handful. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, again. what? Kelly was a dog? There were two Kellys. You'd know that if you'd ever listened to my podcast. Hey, dude. You have a podcast? Don't tell us to relax <laughs> just because you're too nice to have any pet peeves. Oh, Terry's got peeves. Terry hates the way you always make mouth noises when you eat. Oh, mm -hmm. we're yeah, venting. Rosa. Don't trust your D. That wasn't the whole tattoo? No. You wanted to say don't trust your doctor. Oh, my God. <gasps> the doctor. The doctor is trying to kill uh -huh. him. He must have remembered something when he stopped taking his pills. The pills are what's messing with his memory. We have to uh -huh. find him first. Oh, Dr. my Les. God. So I know what he's going to do. Where? He said he's going to his doctor. Oh. Well. I'm pretty sure that he isn't. But he clearly was. Jake! Help! Yeah, he clearly was. Even the doctor up. Oh, fight. Got him. Help! Oh, Jake, shit. What is this, Ledge? You must have tried to escape out the window and all oh, I'm mad about, Jake. I'm upset because you keep blowing me off. We haven't hung out in weeks. We don't talk on the phone anymore. I can't remember the last time we painted pottery together. Sorry. I know this isn't the time to talk about this. No, no, no. Keep but it's going. distracting. It's distract me from the fact that I could fall and instantly die. Exactly. Oh, no, from this height, it wouldn't be instant. When you anything. Oh, it's so sweet. Your love for each other is really wonderful. Let's hug. Let's all hug. No, 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 no. We're still on the ledge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yay. Oh, this ain't awkward. Oh. You said it was homework and you don't do homework. Yeah, well, you said to read it, so I read it. We're a team. You float. It's Aww. catching on. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you don't want to read it, but yeah. Hey, Pimento. How's it going, bud? Pretty good. <laughs> Hey, Jake, I saw that movie you keep talking about. You watch Memento? <gasps> Memento! And? What'd you think? That's okay. <laughs> oh! It's not. It's no Finding Dory, that's one thing for sure. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's mid. That's Adrian right there. It's, it's mid. <laughs> Oh, Jake is so disappointed. I mean, first, I mean, it is catchy though. Pimentos, mementos, and yeah, the, the you know the situation was calling for it. So, of course, Jake is. I just find it so funny though because we know that Jake has a very childish, um, you know, side to him. But there has been that maturity as of recent, um, especially with the way that he was getting tired of Holt uh, in the first episode. Um, but, you know, this episode, uh, for example, like everyone was quoting Finding Dory and all of that. So, fun fact, never seen it.
Um, cause I do like the Nemo film. I just haven't gotten around to it. Like, you know, when it comes to a lot of movies and all of that, that, um, I might do and all of that on Patreon. Um, there'll be some movies like, you know what? It's been something that I've been wanting to check out, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So yeah. Um, and it's the same here with Finding Dory, I guess. So, yeah. But I just find it funny, though, because I would have expected Jake to to be an advocate for, you know, Finding Dory and all of that. But I just love it, though. Like, he was just trying to reference, like, even, you know, the whole just keep swimming part. I mean, it's so catchy as well. Like, even for me, it's like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And, and, and it was like Jake kind of threw up in his mouth a bit when, obviously, the dire situation called for him to just be distracted. I just found out funny, to be fair, with Jake, um, just being so, so, du- like, he was, like, it is not something I was gonna expect, like, he kept bringing up Memento and, uh, um, it, you know, Charles, uh, and I guess Adrian, because he recognized it, like, oh, that makes sense, uh, they, you know, they were advocating for finding Dory, so it, it, it's, it's so weird for Jake to be, I, I guess, kind of against it, so, yeah. To be fair, I mean, the beginning of you know, the first Nemo movie was traumatic, so um, I wouldn't blame him if he was just, you know, if he just steered his distance away from that, so yeah, that franchise, but yeah. Um, really great stuff. It was really great to see Adrian back. Um, so, yeah, especially under this um, situation, obviously, with his doctor making him forget, so yeah. And uh, I, I did love the little um, clue there where, you know, it was don't trust your D. And of course, you would be like, especially with Adrian, you would be um, not ludicrous to assume that he was referring to his, yeah, to his dong. So uh, to his Derek, maybe. <laughs> um, no, but... It was it was a really really good plot as well, like especially with this whole um, idea of uh, Adrian being in a vulnerable state because he couldn't remember shit. So, yeah, and um, how that tied into obviously the whole uh, idea that Jake was trying to steer away from Charles when it came to uh, telling him about yeah. I will just say that the Harry Potter like references when it comes to that. Oh boy. That is, that is ruined now. So, <laughs> I mean, to be fair with JK, yeah. Um, but, um, enough about that. Um, you get the idea. The references are just ruined. Like, you know, the world, um, and all of that. Yeah. Never think of a whomping willow, uh, the same way again. Anyways, um, yeah. With Jake trying to not tell Charles about the, the, the fact that he's... Uh, him and Amy are trying to be parents. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously with Charles, you can feel a little bit of hurt. He does go a little OTT, yes, admittedly, of course, as we all know and and whatnot. But I think there's also the combination that we haven't ha- hung out in, um, uh, yeah, it, 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 like, it, it is understandable. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I do feel like the combination of, the, of that with the fact that he hasn't hung with Charles, uh, for weeks, um, does seem a bit damaging and it does seem a bit hurtful, doesn't it? Because, uh, I mean, it is understandable that you might not want to, you know, say something like, especially with the fact that pregnancy is not just a... Uh, it, it's not a straightforward situation. Obviously, there could be complications, and Charles can, like I said, go a bit OTT. But he has to uh, kind of sever the connections between him and Charles, which is really disheartening, especially when you know their dynamic. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it is um, going to be very like I. I mean. With Charles, I mean, it might be a water under the bridge situation, but yeah. Um, obviously, they deserve to uh, keep things hush hush until uh, okay. Well, we've got a straightforward answer, etc. But uh, like I said, it can be very, very complicated. Um, but I can understand why Charles might be a bit damaged. Like, like I said, especially with the combination of the fact that he hasn't hung around. Uh, Jake hasn't hung around with Charles for for weeks, so. 
<coughs> yeah, but um, like I said, the whole Adrian thing was pretty, pretty uh, great stuff. So, yeah, I just love the fact, though, like, especially with this mu uh, this network move as well, because um, I don't believe he was in season six whatsoever. Um, you know, we're aware of the senses and all of that shit, and it just works with Adrian. It just works so, so well. Like, there are, of course, there are other characters that could work well for, like, Rosa, like, when, you know, she uses profanities. Like, it, it, it it's just on brand. Um, but, yeah. Um, it, like, all around, not just profanities, but I guess, yeah. The see where you just got the... It, it, it works for Adrian. So, yeah. Um... And of course, we had this whole situation where the rest of the, you know, 9 9 um, was, um, yeah, they had to take that cinema thing. So, yeah. And uh, I just really, really loved it because of the fact that, um, with the fact that, um, you know, they thought they could beat the system um, with that human resources uh, cinema, uh, they would think, oh, it, it, it should be easy once we've done our homework and we've beat, uh, we've beat this. But of course, they didn't account for the fact that it had to last six hours at least. So, um, and then that really broke the 99 because of, you know, certain things that came out. So, yeah, and um, there's a bit of a detriment, really, with the 99 in this episode. Obviously, like I said, with the uh, with the Charles and uh, Jake situation, with the fact that Jake was keeping um, stuff hidden, as well as, you know, keeping his distance from Charles. But secrets start to unfold in regards to, you know, uh, annoyances and all that shit. So, uh, from, from the 99. So, yeah. Um, so, it was it was just an absolute... Um, calamity, and uh, yeah, uh, thankfully Rosa was able to pull through and all of that as well at the end of the day, but um, yeah, um, I just loved some of the stuff there as well, like with the whole callback to uh, Kelly, because I think that was way back in season one as well, where there was a little, where there was an unanswered question about, you know, um, uh, if, if Kelly was a dog or, or, or um, Scully's wife, uh, yeah, uh, or ex-wife, should I say. Um, and we got an answer. It both, both, uh, yes, is the answer. So, um, yeah, but like I said, there were, you know, some stuff that were, that, that spilled, but you know, some people that there, there are going to be, I guess, bad habits in everyone, I guess, really. Um, so, but of course, um, with the nine, nine, they were broken, like, especially with that cinema, they thought they beat the system. Um, and then the system just beat them because it had them talking about, you know, certain, um, um, certain detrimentals as, um, you know, things about the nine, nine and all of that. And it got them to, um, really rip apart each other. So, um, on, on certain flaws they might have. So yeah, but, um, it was good that it was all water under the bridge at the end of the day. So ace anyways let's get into this final episode of today it's episode four of brooklyn 99 season seven do, 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 do. the lecture be responsible jake don't do anything crazy or fun there's no lecture i trust you oh but there oh used to look be at lecture. that well you're not the same immature rebellious kid you used to be didn't you and amy just he has grown family friendly mid-sized sedan in a rebellious color champagne which is an alcohol and let's not forget yeah very rebellious color just now yeah God is on reserve parade duty your job is to sit around good point besides what's the worst thing a responsible guy like me could do oh don't Buckle say that butts, everyone the jimmy jab games are back oh wow what a what it's been a while season two i believe help me in i could really use this day off to spend some time with my husband oh please we all have loved ones you're not getting any sympathy just because you're gay rosa I don't oh wow well, i was she saw right through me nevertheless <laughs> i will destroy you all oh, oh competitive holds you back i love it so i thought you were barton no i'm the greatest showman this is the greatest show isn't that barton <laughs> <laughs> Just who I was looking for. Oh no, am I in your seat? I'll sit on the Oh, floor. hello. What? No, no, don't do uh, that. Oh. No, I was just wondering if you would like to take my place. First time playing the Jimmy Jabs, and I'm destined to win. 
Look at my competition. Little Miss Hay for Brains, the Hay Brains, and King hey Brain brains. made of hay. Look at me, <laughs> I'm also your competition. Yes, but you don't normally care about games like these. Well, I do care about this game, and you're gonna- I mean, Which she, the last Jimmy Jabs? I throw their own versions to boost morale. No, I'm not a teacher. I'm the class clown slash bad boy with a heart of gold. Whatever, Charles, just start. Well, you're a leader, Ladies an inspiration. And gentlemen. No way. He's done it. You've been waiting for. Wow, he went full showman. He I went full showman. The ceremonial bagel of destiny. Ah, it's oh. actually the a baguette. Of, of course, it's like a torch. This year, we're throwing caution to the wind. Oh no! Charles, flame me. Jimmy Jabs, Jimmy Jabs, Jimmy Jabs. And I need a place to crash with air conditioning. Look, the bed is not happening. Sorry, Amy, but this is between Jake and me. Dude, what happened to the cool guy that liked to make? Oh, he's fun trying to rile him off. Okay, Hitchcock. Hitchcock! Drop it. Jake doesn't do that kind of thing anymore. He's an adult now. Hitchcock, you're on! He is? Fouls! Yes. Yes. Foul out, or you will meet your end. We don't know what the game is, so these puns <laughs> don't work. It's a meat-throwing <laughs> challenge. All the expired oh. coal cuts from the kitchen refrigerator are under this tarp. Voila! You oh, will toss no. a meat of your choosing at the toss break your room meat. window from thing. This is your chance to do something great. Debbie, this is your moment. Take it. He's even putting on a voice. Stick this meat. Is this turkey? Yes. I'm very allergic to turkey. <gasps> oh! Shit! Oh my god! His ailments. They make him normal. They make me limitless. This blood so you're cheating. Appetite. This eczema pill can cause extreme muscle spasm. Which is pretty inconvenient unless you need to hurl meat across a room. My god. He's doping. Yeah, Welcome he's doping. Disqualify the these frauds. You processed that parent stuff a year ago. You're right. We're going to drag brunch this Sunday. No. Drag brunch. Something. Oh, nice. Fueling you. And when I find that private fuel, I will extract it to use as my private fuel in my private fuel tank. Then I will have a full tank of. I don't think this is working as much as you believe it is. Ceiling tiles out of place, and he said he was going to hide somewhere reckless. That's right, Amy. Like you boring old fogies, I found the craziest. Oh no! About. I don't know. I fell. We're already married. It doesn't matter. Well, you guys are in for a beating. What? Is that some kind of kidney pill? It's to reduce my various swellings. Basically, it's just beef. That's illegal. It's, it's... <laughs> okay. Look, go, why are these look. allowed? The why are these two the allowed? Oh, we're going to lose the car. Oh, no, we won't. Ah! Ah! She's going to sacrifice herself. You're and... getting to me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's two episodes in a row Another that sacrifice. a film... And Jake has seen born, has not these games truly yeah happened. caught on to people. And now uh, nothing can mess up the performance I'm putting on out there. Secondly, what you did today was incredible. I got disqualified immediately. I mean, to be fair, they tried to kill you essentially. <laughs> no, you pretty much never talked to me till today, what? lady. We are all the bearded lady. Now ask yourself. Yes. What you always wanted to do, but we're too scared to try. Sing. What? I want to sing in front of everyone. <laughs> okay, little lady. You can I tr uh, let's let's you have Debbie I cook. Broke up with me. What? Oh. I want the day off so I can sit alone, listen to death metal, and get my head right. But what about my nail polish solve? Getting my nails done made me feel better for a second. Uh, this is a trick to throw me off. I bet things oh, are shit. No, look at her eye. Oh. Oh. You really are it? crying. What's she doing? I mean, that was pretty obvious, but I've still got questions. I'm not talking to you. No, what are you freaks doing? We're leaving the competition. Some things are more important than a game. Friendship. No, they're not. Wait, where are you going? Don't leave. We need you to. Ah, damn it. Oh, 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 again. What the hell? I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, and leaves a doctor in here. The time has come for the grand finale, the obstacle course. This is gonna be rough. Turns out taking a ton of random pills is really bad for you. Everything oh, hurts. Yeah. Surprising! Training door. What? Why are you making this so hard on me? It's all for the show, Jake. The greatest show on earth. <laughs> right, this is not I the greatest show. For my wife. For Amy. Uh, Hitchcock's gonna ace this. Oh no.
Sick. It's better than losing our car. I mean, is it? Oh! Come on! Adrenaline in your I soul, Jake. Not at all. You can leave. Not a chance. <laughs> the show oh, is that's over. nice. Lessons were learned. Heather, forever, forever. She's going on the voice. Can do anything. Oh no. Debbie? Anything I put my mind to. Um, Debbie, what? I what? We um. So she just stole some drugs. She she stole. Okay. So Debbie's a bad egg. This, uh, you know what? This lack of confidence and all that. This, this lack of self belief. It was all a cover. It was that was the greatest show all along, wasn't it? Shit, that was truly the greatest show. She put on the the. You know what? It, it it's giving me Angel. Um, well, Angel vibes. Uh, Buffy, Angel, uh, Fate vibes. World best actress. In this case, um, she was not second best, or world's best actor, should I say? No, she no, she was Angel. Yeah, Foy. Oh man, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking somehow, you know, Hitchcock was gonna win, etc. But no, Jake got that. Jake's won. So, and you know what? Adrenaline in your soul makes you come out on top. Spoiler for WrestleMania 4. It's, you know what? Funny enough, by the time this comes out on YouTube, WrestleMania 40 will have passed. So this is either going to age horribly, which I don't think it will, or it's going to age really, really well, like wine. Yeah. <laughs> If you get the reference, of course. Um, yeah. Oh, Debbie, 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 Debbie. Sheesh. So, so she dirty. <laughs> oh man. No, it was great to have the Jimmy Jeb games back because I think it was season two um, that we last had uh, the Jimmy Jabs. Because um, it's not a frequent like the heists and all of that and yet it's it's you know they operate on similar terrains i guess you could say but they are different it's more elimination uh if anything and it's like a series of contests etc so um yeah it's not like um oh find this by the you know a certain uh time and yeah um so but Still, it's not all fun and games, is it? When it comes to the, you know, Jimmy Jepsen. Um, it, it, you know, there is a bout of sincerity. Like the heists, I guess, at times. I mean, you know, there's that iconic proposal bit in the heists. But obviously in this, there were some very, very serious moments. Of course, Jake getting just destroyed. Um, yeah. But obviously there was the elephant in the room in regards to Jocelyn and Rosa uh, given the fact that, um, you know, Holt was thinking, ah, this is some kind of ruse. And then you, you could easily tell, I would say, uh, especially with the tears in her eyes. Um, like there were two shots of that happening. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I just find, I, I just felt so bad for, for Rosa. So Yeah. But I am glad that Holt came through. Like, not just that, though, but he was like, you know what? I withdraw because there are some things more important, obviously. Um, so it was really, really heartbreaking when, when um, you know, you just saw Rosa just well up and, and that. So, But like I said, it was great that, yeah, things 
uh, like um, atone. There was that atonement, I guess you could say. So yeah. Um. So. Yeah, but I also really loved the whole um, self-realization situation that Jake was going through in this episode because. Uh, I mean, I even said it in the la- in in the episode that we just watched with with Pimento, uh, and episode one. I feel and, and you know it's no coincidence, is it, that we are seeing uh, mature? I mean, obviously over the seasons Jake has matured. Um, that is something that we cannot um, neglect whatsoever. I do feel like it's more pressed on, if anything, um, is the maturity, and obviously. With the fact that Jake and Amy are trying, um, there can be a sense of um, maturity um, and all of that uh, uh, for Jake. That there is that push forward to to be more mature, but obviously it's it's not something he's he's forcing whatsoever. Uh, especially with that uh, idea that um, you know he realized what was said to him, and he was like, you know what, that's actually haunting. Uh, that. Uh, you know, I am maturing um, as 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 you know people um, are, are commenting because you know I don't want to be boring, etc. And you know, I I I mean that's it with Jake. He could never be boring whatsoever. Jake is never going to be that kind of character whatsoever. Um, so yeah. Um, but I think we all do worry. Like, I, well, I would say we all do worry, but. Uh, there are quite, uh, there are some of us, um, that do, um, or I've just remembered something that I forgot to mention in regards to the dog food. I think it was from the, uh, you know, previous episode. Um, so I was like four and I decided to try some, <laughs> some biscuits that is not, you know, um, chunks or, or anything like that. So yeah, but I know that that is like an embarrassing um, story my family can sometimes say, and I, it even bewildered me when I first learned it about the first time because I can't remember. I can remember shit all about my um, about my very 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 early days. So yeah, but apparently I ate some dog food. So that's something that I did want to br- that I did want to bring up because you know they were like, you know what, it's not that bad, and I'm like, you know what. There's going to be a story time, and yeah, I, I just had to remember it. I so yeah. Anyways, um, back onto this episode. So yeah, um, you know this whole idea about growing up, uh, and all of that. I mean, Jake's still going to be a kid at heart. Uh, even you know, Amy was comforting him about the fact that well, yeah, you've matured, but you can still sometimes you know be you and all of that. It just means that yeah, you're you're having a bit more maturity, and and that's it though. Like I feel like. Um, you know, even the most childish of people can have that maturity and have that, like, more wis- uh, I guess wisdom uh, to them um, as the years go by. But they can still have have their quirks. I mean, I'm definitely uh, a lot more mature, I would say, than I was, like, several years ago and all of that. Um, I still have my quirks. Um, so, yeah. But... I'm sure that's the case with a lot of other people. Like, they might have had a bit of a, uh, I don't know, rebellious side to them. They might have had um, that kind of childishness to them, etc. But over the years, you mature, and, you know, that's okay, really. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, you're going to bound to see some changes in Jake over the season, and, and that we have. So, yeah, but... It was really, really uh, great stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, we even had, you know, Charles in his element, I guess you could say, with him. I guess doing Gina Proud, because obviously she was the host last time, wasn't she, when it came to uh, the Jimmy Jeb games. And uh, now, you know, he was he, he's, you know, this is the greatest show, isn't it? So, <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, he was in his element with the whole costume changes, with the flamboyancy, etc. So, yeah, but you know, at least everyone had fun in his eyes. So, yeah, um, but yeah, it, it it just was on brand with with Boyle just embracing, the, um, you know, uh, the greatest showman. So, yeah, 
<laughs> um, so, yeah. But overall, these were two brilliant, brilliant episodes. Loved it. Uh, yeah, we need to find out shit about Debbie because, foy, um, she really was, uh, had her greatest show moment. Like, because that's it, though. You're, you're, you're expecting the fact that um, you know, this whole lack of confidence shit and, you know, I bet even the music, um, even the singing was, was, was an act and she could sing, you know, really, really amazingly because she could play us all like damn fiddles. Yeah. She, she really, um, pulled off the greatest show and that was, you know, being, you know, innocent Debbie, you know, nothing wrong with her, etc. So, Yeah. But that's it with this with these kind of shows. I don't expect oh, there's a newcomer coming in. Um like she's obviously not gonna fill the void of, of Gina because obviously she was a staple for like um several seasons, of course. Um but but that's that was not running through my mind when obviously she was hanging with 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 Holt. I was just expecting, okay, well maybe she'll show up every so often and, and, and all that shit. I wasn't thinking, oh, oh, so there's a bit of focus on her. She's dodgy. She is dodgy. So, yeah, but I should have thought that because she was dodgy. Dodgy Debbie. Dodgy Debbie. That's it. Hashtag it. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time.